Hey, Sam from 3D here. In this video, I will show you how to do automatic lip sync in Blender. First, we need the audio from the clip. I'll use Blender Video Editor to export the clip's audio. Whatever software you use, it's important that you export in DAW wave format. On a new Blender file, I'm gonna click on this plus icon. Click on Video Editing and Video Editing. Now click on Add, Movie and select the file. I have the video that you've seen in the start of the video. If you want to, you can change the frame rate here. I'm gonna change it to 24 and if you click on play. Sam from 3D here, you'll see the video playing. You can also play with the resolution if you want to cut that extra space there. If you want to edit the video a little bit before exporting the audio or the video itself, you can select both tracks. The video and the audio track and press K to cut. Now move it forwards, K again. And you can select these pieces and delete just like that. You have a cut. So I will show you how. I do want to set how many frames this thing will take. So let's go to the end and it takes 138. Just type here 138. And now we can just export this. Since I just want to export the audio, I'm going to render and render audio. Select the folder you want to export this to and remember to change the container, which is the format to wave. Now click on mix down and you're done. You should now have an audio file with the voice you're going to lip sync. We'll also need a free plugin called Blender Rhubarb Lip Sync. To download it, click on releases. Now download the .zip that corresponds to your operating system. To install it is the same as any other add-on. Click on edit, preferences, add-ons and install. Now select the .zip file and just enable it. I'll use this character from Character Z. You can get him and many others at 3D.Design. Before using the add-on, we need to manually set some poses. We're going to create some phonemes. This character already comes with these sliders for them. But if yours doesn't, the process is pretty much the same. Let's start by making bone groups. Bone groups are used to select multiple bones in a faster way. Click on the armature Move into Pose mode by pressing Ctrl Tab. I'm now going to select all of the lip sync options, but I'm going to deselect the box into the running man. Click on the plus icon and let's create a new group called face. I'm going to change its color so it's easier for me to see and click assign. We now have selected all the lip sync options. You're going to need a legacy pose library. Just scroll down and click on this new icon. We're gonna call this face lip. And now we need to create the poses for the library. And this is how we're going to do this. I'm going to click on select on the face here. So we select all the pieces related to lip sync. And this is my rest position. If you scroll down, you can see what the add-on is asking us. With the bone selected, we're going to click on this plus icon. Click on add new and I'm going to name this the rest. That's our first pose. Now what I'm going to do is select on the AI. Move this all the way to the front. Now select all of the bones related to the lip sync. Click on the plus icon, add new, and let's call this pose AI. And now we need to repeat this process for all of the others. Move AI to zero, move all, all the way forward. Select all the face bones, create a new pose and call it O. I'm now going to repeat this process for all of the lip sync options that you see here. We're using the legacy pose library because this add-on hasn't been updated to work with the newer pose library. So for now, we're gonna have to use this one. If you're not using our characters, you probably don't have that slider to use. I have this character here, his name is Snow, he's free from the Blender Institute. This character has the phonemes. If you click here, you can see his mouth changing to the O shape. So the main difference is that you need to do this manually when you're using a character that is not ours. Also, as a side note, if you have a character that has the new pose library like this one has, you can click on the shape. And let's add a pose library, add a new one, call this O. And let's make a new one. Let's say the F, so click on F, click here, add new F, and you can just continue doing this. That way you can use the add-on. That's right down here. If your character doesn't have facial bones, he probably has shape keys. If not, you can create your own. You'll need to set up some simple drivers for a bone to control the shape key, since we are using the pose library. Now that I have all of these created, just scroll down and you're going to assign each one of these to their respective places. Over here on sound file, click on this little folder and select your audio file. And here you can select the start frame. Now we're going to select the face bones again, clicking on face, select. And now just click on rhubarb lip sync. And that's it. All I did here was increase the end time. And now if you hit play, you're going to see him move. It's kind of dull. We cannot hear the audio, so right click here. Go into horizontal split. Change this to the video sequencer. Click on add and let's add a sound. Just move it back to the very first frame and if I hit play. Hey, Sam from 3D here. 
In this video, I will show you how to do automatic. There's a couple of things we can do. First, we can press N with my mouse over here and click on display waveform. This might be easier for you to see. I'm gonna make this a little smaller. Hey, Sam from 3D here. One thing that you can notice is that the jaw doesn't move a lot. And that's because this character actually has a different bone for the jaw. In order to access it, I'm going to press N and right here on item, I'm going to select face. I'm going to click on the jaw bone get back and using this as a reference i'm going to see where i open my mouth so if i hear it hey it's about hey here so before that i'm going to press i to set keyframe and i have auto keyframing on so i'll just move to where i say hey and just open the jaw after it's done just press alt r to close the jaw again and now we have a much better opening animation so now we just need to match this with the rest some right here that's good a couple frames back, move it down. We're gonna do this real quick and be back. And after just a bit of manual work, I'm going to hide this and we can see the results. Hey, Sam from 3D here. In this video, I will show you how to do automatic lip sync in Blender. That's pretty cool, right? You now know how to make your character talk and bring some life into them. I hope this video was informative for you and if you bring some life to your characters, make sure to share with us in our Discord. Link in the description below, right next to the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the description down below. Bye.